we uh, played a, a better half of this game, I think. So we are we're we're playing as somebody else right now. Arso, well, thank you for the three hundred bits. Got to get in on that bit throwing action. Thank you so much, Arso, well. Are so well. Awesome. Thank you so very, very much. Oh, do I need my my hat again? Do I need my eight, 18... Eight, late 1800s era detective hat today? Will it even work? Because I have a uh, ponytail? Kind of. There we go. Good enough? Okay. I'm ready. Let's Cthulhu. God, this game has long ass loading screens. I need a trench coat. I know. I know. I need the sinking city guy outfit. Oh, well. It's lazy cosplay, so you get what you get, okay? <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot to. If you guys want to check out that game, besides my video, uh, there's a command for the game. If you want to look at the store page or whatever before entering. The hat is looking good. Thank you. Hat is hat and good. Thank you. Okay, so... Um, Mr. Full... We're playing as the nurse now. We learned last time that this guy is basically turning into a fish man. And if you were here and watched us play the, or watch me play the Sinking City game. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. You will know about the fish people. Also, if you have played or watched me play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, there was plenty of fish people in there too. So I'm going to, you know, venture a guess that it's the same kind of transformation uh, as those people. So now we're going to go into Dr. Fuller's office and this, this nurse lady, she is kind of just bent on, uh, proving that Dr. Fuller is a big douchebag, which he is. This place draws you in and never lets you go. The original barnacle boy. Something is very fishy here. Indeed it is. High security unit. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Hello? It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Eh? The pipes? The pipe system is temperamental? Okay. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, be brave. Be a big girl. Put your big girl pants on. Just do it. I mean, you probably risk getting murdered or turned into a fish or something, but whatever. There are worse things in life, right? Being a fish not so bad. You can breathe underwater. It's kind of badass. Just do it. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know where I am. I'm just exploring because this game has a lot of things to explore. And sometimes when you click on stuff, you get other options. So like, and also skill books.
Actually, that didn't work because I'm not even playing as my guy. Oops. Whose name I forgot. Is it Edward, actually? I think it is. It is Edward. Ha! <laughs> it's good old Edward Carnby! Except it's not. Different Edward. <sighs> I've already converted my Cthulhu. Well, that's another Everybody says it. story, you know? It's fine. Sometimes sometimes it's best to just give in to Cthulhu. Because you know you can't win, right? And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, pseudoscientific work by Cesare Lombroso correlates individuals' morphology. Is this going to go cr to credit me when I play Edward again? The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Yes, that's not very surprising. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, and Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Yeah, I forget all the exact details of the lore of uh, Cthulhu Land. But I, I know that I, I actually remember learning about it when we played Sinking City. Uh, but yeah, there's like Dagon and Mother Hydra and then they have the fish people and Cthulhu is just like another another one of the of the old gods, right? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Or Cthulhu was the one that was or was it Dagon the one that one of them communicates with the people and that's that's why everybody worships them, right? Is that Cthulhu or Dagon? Can't remember. Cthulhu's the big bad daddy of the old ones. Okay, so Dagon is the connection right to the people and that's why everyone like worships Dagon but I mean Cthulhu is like the one guy that you need to worry about basically so hello everybody Marsh made a deal with the deep ones Marsh <laughs> Boiler room. Okay, we can. I don't have any business in the boiler oh, room. Oh, but you will. Oh, but you will. Hello? Thomas Fuller. Okay, there's his office. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. I want to explore a little bit more before going into his office. This man. Edward Pierce. Yeah. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? That's our man. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in Dormitory B. Why? What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I'll see to it right away. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Oh. What state is he in now? You should go see for yourself, Doctor. He's a fish! Uh, probably. I feel like we're gonna eventually need to hide in these closets. Reception. Hello. Dr. Colden. Hello, hello, hello. Ding, 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 ding. Hey. It's Guy. It's Bradley. Bradley? Ethan. 
Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. Uh oh, I knew it. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? Mm -hmm. I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. It is. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I wonder if Marie also has these dreams. Probably. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. I don't know. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Diphtheria is deadly. Immunization is the safeguard. Dr. Batty's asthma cigarettes. <laughs> oh my god, that is the best advertisement I've ever seen. <laughs> Dr. Batty <laughs> and his asthma cigarettes. <laughs> asthma, hay fever, foul breath, all diseases of the throat, head colds, canker sores, bronchial irritations. Not recommended for children under six, but seven and up, it's fine. Give them all the cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, but the best part is that his name is Dr. Batty. That is the best part. Is this the guy? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. Here you are. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. Okay. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, Ooh. but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. Oh, yeah. He's we a fish. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. Ew. Gross. I can't move. Oh. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor... What should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Oh, snap. Yeah, do your damn job, nurse. You think this is a playground? Okay, I see. Ooh. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Oh, <laughs> that's a dangerous uh, outfit you got on there. Luckily, he's uh, he has pants on. Ooh. <gasps> what is the boiler room key doing here? I don't know, but let's take it. The key to the boiler room. Let's take it. Not where I expected to find it. Can we take it? The key to the boiler Damn room. Damn it. Not where I expected to find okay, it. Okay, we'll just have to remember it's there. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Dr. Colden? Sup. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. 
It's the old whaling station. See? Uh, what happened? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. Hmm. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Interesting. Ooh, that guy doesn't look so good. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. His perfusion uh. of a semi physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Ooh. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Well, that's not gonna work. Well, it's a hospital. I mean, makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Cinti, 24 months. Thank you so much, Cinti. She's hot. That is a long freaking time. Heck yeah. Oh, now we're back here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, hay fever's minor, but maybe he's, uh, maybe he's one of those people that, like, is worried about it. This place draws you in and never lets you go. He might be dangerously allergic to stuff. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Yeah, okay, fine. Time to go to Fuller's office, then. Did I already go through here? Vents. Okay, yeah, we're definitely coming back here as Edward, aren't we? Definitely. Wait a minute. What? Where do you think you're going? To Fuller's office? What's it do Dr. you? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay. Wow, she is an old witch, isn't she? Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Okay, I know what we have to do. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody. But rest assured. Will I will. All right. It's time to get the boiler key. We gotta, we gotta cause a distraction. Unless I can just go in here. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. No. Okay, that, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, so, now boiler room? The door to the boiler room is locked. Where did I see that key? Yeah, I know, uh, I know. Yes, the office in block B. There we go. Now she's on the right page. Good job, Marie. Where the heck was that? It was somewhere over here. Yeah. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Oh, she'll take the bait. Oh, did we try going in here? Ooh. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Ugh. But the... I want something. Wait, did I look at this already? Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Ah, okay, I was supposed to find that first. Never mind, I don't even need it. Any cheese? Boiling cheese. Shut that. Shut that. Shut it. Okay, time to distract everybody with stuff. Oh, she's too much of a weakling to do it, of course. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Look at all these tools right here. Isn't this good enough? Damn it. Okay, now do I go in the storage room? Yep, 
<laughs> Gotta do everything in an order, says the game. Failed her strength roll, yeah. All right. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Okay, uh, wait. She's still there. Do I talk to her? Hey! Um... Do I do it some more? Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Oh, she's gone? The last. The missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Study of Stendhal Syndrome, particularly where mental illness subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. <laughs> Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I mean, boat's not gonna go anywhere if they're pointing that direction. Uh, reset, W, S. Oh, oh, jeez. Um. I've unlocked there we go. something. Patient files. Oh my I God. was right. That was so hard. Cylinder was hidden in Fuller's office, recorded his thoughts about his many psychanalysis sessions. Okay. That's the Scylla. This is the this is the boat that was um that they were on when they killed that or when they found that giant whale, which was actually a Cthulhu whale, and then everyone ate it, and now they're all turning into fish. Lock it. Okay, do I actually need anything else in here, or was that it? Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. Ooh. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls mythos. Ooh. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm late that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Mm. He's got more info. So he doesn't want him to know what's in the basement. Which is probably at that point Charles was in the basement. And Sarah. That's a shoe. That's her missing. Is that her missing shoe? 
Why is Ethan on medication? Because he's having nightmares, right? Isn't that what they do? Just put everyone on medication? Turn him into a fish? Uh, oh. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. You will? In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Um, hidden in plain sight. Something else to click on. Somewheres. Ah, now we get to do the shoe. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Duh? I mean, didn't we already know that? Okay, no, I still haven't found the secrety secret. Okay, that was one secrety secret, but where's the other one? Unless, I guess it could be out of the scene. I'm not sure. Sarah Hawkins. It must be in the normal scene, I guess. I must go back to the basement. Hold on. There are secrets to be found, Marie. Priorities. Dr. Fuller, 1849. He really does look like a creepy dude, doesn't he? Okay. What gives, game? Was it? Oh, wait, it's not there anymore. It was only in the thingy, and now I missed it. Ah! Balls! Lunatic Chef! Hello, 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 and hello, Christine. How are you guys doing today? Thank you. This is my, um... So, to, currently, it's my lazy cosplay for, you know, late 1800s slash detective hat. <laughs> it's also going to uh, double as my mob mobster mafia hat as well, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty mad about that secret. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty upset I about it. Go another way. Pretty dumb. Yeah, I think it was because it was only, um, it was only in the reconstruction scene and I didn't find it. So I'm boned. I missed it. Getting food. Sounds good. -a. Go down to the psychiatric wing. Will do. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Anyone else to talk to around here? Do you want something? Block B. Already been in all of those rooms. Kitchen! Anything in here? Gimperator! Two months! Thank you so much, Gimperator! Cheese high. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. It's because everyone must be Cthulhu here. 
Ooh, that looks delicious. The la toilet. Hey, look, another monkey wrench. Okay, so there's multiple of those, apparently. A very interesting book aimed at the wide public demonstrates how non-recognized sciences have influenced modern medicine, magnetism, grandmother's secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypoth hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent. Cool. I hope that finding those on Marie is not going to screw me out of finding them on Edward. Oh, it's open. Okay. I thought we would need a key. I have little dainty steps on these on this floor that would otherwise be probably be very loud. It looks like it would be noisy as heck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's not very promising. Oh, hi. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. Uh-huh. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Ow! How dare you? If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around slowly oh this is the art collector right i think talk filthy thief oh, i swear i'll shoot uh you're gonna regret it lower the gun or you'll be sorry i am the one with the weapon <laughs> for now all right I just need to protect myself. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. <laughs> the Necronomicon. yeah. Yeah, this is the guy that owns this um, library museum place that we broke into as Edward. Uh, yes. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. I feel like taking people with is a good idea, because the more friends we make, the more information we get, right? Even if it's bad information, but... Here we go, back to the mansion. Woo! So I'm thinking it's sounding like the stuff that we need to find is hidden inside uh, inside her body, which is creepy because he said hidden in plain sight. Sarah Hawkins' body. <laughs> the dangers of cheese Thulu. Yes. Very dangerous. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. 
Well, that's gonna depend on how long that, how long ago that vision was, I guess. Diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband, John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. Yeah, three centuries earlier, which was like... diary. Well, I mean, when the time... I think the time frame that the Reverend built the man... the Whatever building is underneath the mansion or whatever um, was during the first epidemic thing right where they found the whale and the Scylla and then everybody ate the whale and then Cthulhu came and murdered everyone and then it's like kind of the same thing is happening again so it's probably worth guessing that that happened another time like what does that, that mean that means that Dr. Fuller had a bunch of nurses in 1849 Actually, what year is it? 1824. Wait, wasn't it 1824 at one point? Or am I remembering that wrong? The Scylla is here, like in the vision. Colvin came this way. Yeah. So we're going to follow her, her steps. What the? Fuller, too. Yep. Not surprising to me. Can we go back this way? No. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. I kind of want to snoop, though. I wonder if that's going to change things. Oh, am I trespassing? I'll go take a look. I think I am. They forgot all about it, because they're dumb. I wonder if I can go into any of these rooms, or if they're all just blocked. I think they're all just going to be blocked. here though Dear. What is happening to me? Uh, I don't what know. It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Oh. Okay, then. Sure. Uh. Uh. That's a no go, all right. And this is also no go. Okay, so we can't go. No 
monkey wrench. Ah, here we go. Medicine and secret sciences. I already collected that though. Uh, so I have to go this way. Okay. Wait. Whoa! What Ooh. Something has changed, but what? Um, purple. Okay. Different. I can go on a different door now. Pip. Hello? I mean, this is different. You don't... Oh, now I can go in it. Okay. I thought I was... It was blocked before. I see. Help me in some way, or uh... oh, increase, increase your lamp's brightness. Okay. Where have I seen this symbol? Uh, it looks like one of those knives or something. Hey, there it is. Found it. Okay. Uh, do I switch the lights again now? This is a weird puzzle. Uh, how are you and Tony and Bella doing? Bella's back to her old self. Yeah, she's pretty much back to her old self. Tony and I are doing really good. Thank you for asking. Hope you guys are doing great too. It says I'm supposed to increase my lamp's brightness and then look at this. Increase it more? Uh... This is Brad! This is Brad! Xena, thank you so much for the thousand bits! Mm -mm. Cheese Kronomicon! Didn't know you were live, no announcements. Oh, poop, I forgot to announce it in Discord. I'm sorry, PJS, I'm such a failure. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Zena, for the thousand bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the channel. So many ways that you do, I really appreciate it. Did I announce the winner of the raffle? Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I got to do that, too. Let's do that now. Uh, okay, hold on. Intermission! Pick the winner. Catterley! Catterley, are you still here? There was a raffle. What has happened? Don't worry. We're giving away two more games, PJS. Don't worry. Do not worry. I should also announce that I'm live. Discord. <laughs> derp, derp, derp. You are all alone. Catterley is here. Good. Okay, Catterley, I will send you a code in Discord later after the stream 
I'm giving away two more of these. So I'll just announce this really quick again. Um, if you haven't seen the video I released today on Dreadnautical, it is a super cool game made by Zen Studios, the same people that made Operencia, The Stolen Sun. They provided me with not only a copy of the game for my myself to play on my channel, but also they gave me three extra keys to give away to you guys. So, um, okay, if you want it on Twitch, send me a PM then, then okay? <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So, I'm giving away three. Of the that was the first of three keys, so now we're going to give away another one. And uh, it's a subscriber slash moderator giveaway as well. So let's do it. If you're a subscriber, please join if you want that game. <laughs> no, it was, it was my bad for forgetting to announce it. I announced it on, on Twitter and on YouTube, but I, for some reason, forgot about Discord, which is usually the place that I don't forget Okay, 15 more minutes for that. Let's do it. I'm gonna go back to the game and thank you again, Xena, for the bits. Bloop. 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 Okay, poozles. Does anyone else think about monster energy when they see that? Because that's literally all I see right there. <laughs> it's probably pretty sad. It tells me increase my brightness. Oh, I just needed to do it more times. No, Cthulhu, I don't feel like it. Oops, uh, what did I do? Uh, hello? This is Cthulhu. So, we switch again. Can I, can I increase the brightness of this one? Oh, now we have administration. Okay. Ooh, that's large. I can't increase the brightness of this one. So it's only the blue one. Okay. Uh, but now that I've opened it, maybe I can go in with the other one. When investigating a call, make sure you enjoy a can of monster energy to help you. Yeah. Hello? Okay, now we've got this. Twiddly twiddly two. Uh. Um, I need more lantern oil. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I found what I needed to find, but I was too late. It was in um. I'm sure I need to have the other... Did I... It Was that an advancement or was that a death? I don't even understand what's going on. This is a weird puzzle. I definitely opened this door. I have to get to that. Which is that symbol. So I'm assuming I need to find that symbol and flash my lights at it.
but I th think I need the other lantern. Yeah, I think I do need the other lantern. I can't go that way. Um, where the heck was that? Is it in here? Getting dark again. I don't like it. Hmm. I f Ooh. like I, I I found that. Where the hell was it? There was a symbol on the wall, and then I got eaten by by the guy. It must be in here, because I unlocked this, right? But it's telling me to go here. Can I... Okay, and then he gets really scared, and then... Wait, did I do it? Uh... I just need to use all of my lanterns? Okay, is it only let me use it at certain areas? seem to be working right now. Okay, it's letting me use it over here. It's definitely working. It's definitely working over here. Let's see what happens when I... Is he gonna attack me now? Yeah, okay, that's definitely a death. That's definitely a death. <gasps> Kirkland, thank you so much for buying a beanie! Oh, awesome! Cat hype! Kirkland! Prepping for Cthulhu! So you can, like, bring it down over your eyes in case he comes and pops out. Good idea. Thank you so much, Kirkland. Uh, I don't think I've ever had anyone buy a beanie on stream yet. I gotta do, I do a cute beanie graphic. Let's see your name. There we go. Gotta hide from Cthulhu. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kirkland. Wait, you bought two things? For real? And a mug? Oh my god! Thank you so much! Holy crap, dude. <laughs> there you go. This kind of looks like a hat. A little bit. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much, Kirk! Enjoy! I hope you post a picture in Discord when you get those. By the way, my umbrella mug that I ordered just shipped. So there might be a slight delay in shipping because things. Because reasons and things. So just be aware of that. <laughs> I ordered it like a while ago. Uh, well, I ordered it right when I made it, which was like maybe a week or two ago. And it just shipped yesterday, I think. Real Magic Cookie, thank you so much for the thousand bits. The real magic cookie. 
Yeah. Oh, that's a cute muggy map. Thank you so much, Magic Cookie, for even more bits and for just all of the incredible amounts of support that you throw at this channel. I really, really appreciate it. It is ridiculous how much cheese you throw my way. Thank you so much. Cheers to you, friend. I have a serious Christina Ricci look going on today. Do I? I have, that's the first I've heard that. I, people used to tell me that I look like Arya Stark. Which, I don't think that's true. <laughs> Vadim, thank you so much for the hundred bits. Choo-choo on the cards, looks around. I don't know if merch counts as a choo-choo. I think it's bits, bits, gifted subs. Uh, is it, do subs count or is it just gifted subs? I don't even know. Don't see the Arya Stark thing. Yeah, me either. Subs do count regular subs? Regular subs, gifted subs, bits. I think. I hope. I should know this. There's a lot of things about Twitch that I should know that I don't know. Okay, I feel like... If I understand this puzzle correctly, if I find a way that I need to go, I'm supposed to look around for the symbol that I need, and then I'm supposed to flash my lights at it. I found the symbol on the wall, but it was it was in like a bathroomy type area, wasn't it? And now I can't find it again after the monster got me. Maybe I can only reveal it with like one of these lights and that's why I'm like totally screwing up all the time. I feel like it shouldn't be this hard though. <laughs> Lurking in the cheese. All right, dragon, sounds good. Enjoy your store trip. Chips and sarsaparillas? Oh my god. I, I you know what? I'm going to buy some sarsaparilla for for the for the western theme streams. By the way, everybody who's here, if you missed the announcement earlier, next week we're starting a uh, Wild Wild May, which it consists of loads of western themed games, mostly predominantly Red Dead 2 which will start on Tuesday. But then I'm also gonna be sprinkling in a lot of retro uh, Western games through the whole month. So, you know, bring your cowboy hats and your sarsaparilla and your whiskey and enjoy. I might see if I can't do some giveaways as well. Maybe I can bug GOG for some keys for Western games or something like that. <laughs> might be kind of fun. So like, game, what the frick gives, man? So, okay, so maybe I need to look, f maybe I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look at the walls and the floor, but like before, before it was leading me there, you know? Before it was totally leading me and now it's leading me to nothingness. Do I have to have my lantern lit in order to find the symbol? Is that what... Do I just have to, like, frantically run around until I find it? And then... I don't, I don't know. Is it on the ceiling? Oh! Wait, did I do it? Hello? Brad? Oh god. Oh, there it is! But now I don't have any lights left. Okay, all right, okay. I... I might understand, but how did I... I just aimlessly wandered into a door that was correct that time. This one, okay. All right, so now I just need... Now I just need to go over here and have some juice left, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Got it. Destiny is trapped me. All right, cool. That's nice. Now I need to go over there. Why? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. Do I have to pee? Uh, to increase your lamp's brightness. 
This way. Okay, uh... Oh, there's a new one. That's a nice, uh, photo. Hello? Going this way instead. Going this way still. Going that way. Do I need... Do I need this light again? Bathroom men. Is that still a thing there? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's increase the brightness. Oh, wait. Oh, boy. any juice left in my oh yeah, yeah actually yes I do it's not over here wait it's the same again isn't it Confronting powers that surpass you. The waffle ended. Okay. Let's just finish this segment and then we'll we'll do the giveaway. Now I can go in here. And this helps me how? what I'm doing. I'm literally just wandering around looking for things I can do. Oh. No, that's not new. Anyone else really confused by this puzzle or is it just me? Can't see. I just don't know the aim. I just don't know, like, is it actually a puzzle or am I just like, am I just trying to, you know, do I even have a goal? Am I just looking for something I can enter with and then just making sure I have enough fuel left? Because sometimes I can follow these things to where I need to be, and sometimes I can't. OK. 
Okay, well, that's a bummer. Oh, okay. Now I'm in the bathroom. Bathrooms are nice. Yep, pretty good. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Maybe I need the other lantern again. I don't really know. I haven't found another symbol yet. This is the same shit! Watch two other people do this and you still don't know what? Yeah, it's so unclear what you're supposed to do. I mean, I sort of get it, but like, kind of also not. Oh! Hello? Okay, now I'm on the other side of that. That's good, right? I think. Hello? The evil demon monster? Hello? Hi. Uh... Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Oh. Alright, let's try the other light. Yeah, I kind of agree with you about it being a stupid puzzle. <laughs> Usually, like, things, like, by this time I feel like I should maybe have figured it out. But maybe I'm just dumb. I'm not really sure. I don't, I'm not 100% sure what the game wants me to figure out. I thought I was looking for symbols, you know? And then unlocking doorways? But what's the point of having this? Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. So I unlocked his office now. Alright, maybe I can switch lights and then I can get to that now? Somehow? Go that way. So we have to go this way. I also cannot see anything. So where's his office? Ugh! Whoa! That spooked me a teeny bit. Hello. Where is this office, actually? No, this is the other room that I was already in. Is this his office? I can't see shit. Yes, okay. Here we go. Monster energy! It's gotta be the last one, right? It's gotta be. Okay. It looks like things are back to normal. Oh, God, thank God. What a... What an obnoxious puzzle! Holy crap! Alright, never mind, we did it! <laughs> At least the monster wasn't chasing me the entire time. That would have been way more annoying. Here we go! First try! <laughs> Cannot take my light out. That's not gonna work, Rob King of the Plants. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 23 months, Rob. Thank you. Are we almost out of here yet? Uh, I hope so. Thank you so much, Benny, for the sparkle bits. 
I sure hope we're almost out of here because this place is no good. Keith just wants a friend. <laughs> None of these doors I can actually go into. What's going on? It never ends. I mean, yeah, clearly this isn't real, Edward. Just like nothing is real. Because you're kooky, crazy Cthulhu brain. Should we try going backwards? Okay. I have a feeling it doesn't matter. I can't take my light out. Popped in to say a very quick hello and good night. Very busy at work, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Benny. And hello. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Benefer. Yes, indeed. All right, I don't think anything's happening. And I can't do any, th hello? Okay, that's the door that I started at, I think. It just keeps re-popping me in. It's just re-loading the same area over and over again. You can, you can see it doing it too. <laughs> Flickering like that. Maybe I have to... Maybe there's like one of these... Oh! Damnation. Found it! That's... That's me. Yeah, that's you. Uh, then that's you. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Layers of fear oh, and stuff. Oh. Quickly, quickly, get up. I All right. I think we're probably, yeah, near the end-ish, maybe, or the latter, we're in the latter half, anyway, of the game. I'm coming, Pierce, Maria! I found her. Rebecca. I finally know what's going on. Rebecca! We must live and find the truth. It I'm okay with that. It is too late for me. I'm okay with living. Cold. <laughs> what's going on? Was it a hallucination? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Lunatic Chef! Thank you so freaking much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheese hype! <laughs> Woo! Thank you for spreading the cheese. Should we go through this green door? Dark Corners? I already played that. I played that long ago. I've played like every every Cthulhu game almost at this point. Every, Please every take good a seat one. and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Is he trying to resurrect her? Wow. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. She is, uh... I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop! Do it. Uh oh. Colden. I think she's going to be a fish. Wait, what the hell? Did that even happen? Do I have a light yet? No. 
Is this a dream again? <laughs> God damn it, Cthulhu, you're so confusing. Uh, yeah, this isn't real. Oh, God. Please don't make me do that puzzle again. Aw, thank you, Lunatic Chef. That's so sweet. Oh my god, she's alive? Didn't see that coming. I mean, it could be fake. It could not be real. It's hard to tell. her kid's toy, right? <laughs> His posture is not very good. At least she's been uh, continuing her painting in here. Gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Uh, I'll just respond in cthulhu -y. Uh, If it was love... What? Why would I... <laughs> Why would I... Um, clearly she means the doctor. I want to say this first. The picture in the warehouse, it was his. All this time, Charles Hawkins had been lurking around. Of course. He can't let me go. Why? Is his love that obsessive? Love? He is the only one who still believes he can feel it. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Okay, so when we saw Charles, that it was, was in real? Your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Okay, this is taking a weird turn. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. Okay. What the? Oh no! 
Wait, where did she go? Uh oh. I don't know if I went the right way. Just you wait. Okay. Didn't see which way she went. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. You have a feeling we're not getting out of here? Well, the men in white are coming. Usually, you mean the guards. Usually this Cthulhu way. wins. Follow me. I have I have not yet played a game where Cthulhu does not win. So Okay, if we wait, what if I sneak? Is that going to be different or no? No, it's just scripted. Okay. Oh no. Let's go this way instead. We Oh, this is where she went. She just teleports. You cheater. God, this Ugh, god, my eyes. Okay. Uh, I guess we're fine. The machine. It's the green, the decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it. Bloodborne is a Cthulhu game, is it? I didn't know that. Okay, I've got my light back at least. I'd be better off finding a tool. Well, there's gotta be a tool around here some ways. Ah. Perfect. I found a tool. Yeah. It's inspired by the mythos. Oh, cool. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Good enough, right? Uh oh, spaghettio! I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. I don't know if that's how things work. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Yeah. You don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> yeah, poke him to death. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Oh, you should have stabbed him. That would have been more effective. Magic. The 
bookstore? How did you know that? Because I'm a Snoopy oh. detective. Uh, okay. It does not matter. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. Yeah. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She As will usual. finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. That's kind of fucked up. Ooh, God. Okay. I mean, he's probably right. After the death of Cold and Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to the point of discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. The last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man under his monster's appearance tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce if Sarah succumbs to the lure of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition. Summon an ancient and evil god, henceforth Pierce must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intention and find a way to protect her. She's... She's the character that, like, in in the Sinking City, like, she... I forgot what the word was for it, but there's, like, one main person that... Does anyone remember? There's, like, one main person that uh, is, like, the connection to uh, the mythos or whatever. The Dreamer? Is that what it was? And in the Sinking City, like, you, you play that person. There's, like, other people that qualify, but depending on the the choices you make you know your your destiny is basically just to be the link for cthulhu to dominate the world and uh so it sounds like that's what she is it's like the same thing i forgot there was a word for it but but yeah <laughs> no parent should have to bury their child knowing it's me that put him there The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. What am I to you? <laughs> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. 
You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. Oh, he is a jerk. We'll leave now. Oh shit! Stop, drop, and roll, bro! I guess he didn't learn that in kindergarten, like the rest of us. Okay, and then this is the butler guy or whatever. He saves her. Yeah. But he couldn't save the kid. That's sad. Simon. Come on. It's over now. Not over. <laughs> so basically, she she can continue to fight it like forever because you can't really escape. You, you can't escape the grasp of Cthulhu and whatnot. So she can continue to fight it forever, or she can give in. Which is the sad, the sad truth of the situation. You can never escape. Um, spend our points. How many points? We have twelve points. Oh my god! I want all the secrets. Heck yeah! Ah, oh, so close. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <gasps> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Yes. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. That's good. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. Yeah, what about the cults? Uh, yeah. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. What the hell happens if I freaking just... Oh god, I don't... Ugh, I don't know. I feel like this is giving in. It, it, like, me giving into my own dreams because I have the dreams too. And I just, it doesn't feel like a good idea. 
do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea. So we all die. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> We've temporarily saved off the end of the world by a few years. Yeah. Roll a d6. I actually have a d... I have a d20 right here. I'll roll it. Okay, if I get below 10. If I get below 10, I'll do it. I got two. <laughs> Shit. Okay. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Was Still, it a good thing? I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Mm -hmm. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll help you. I... I don't know. I don't know if I trust any of you people. I mean, it's probably a good idea that she kills them, that monster, but, like, what's the point, you know? Algernon! Why is your name so weird? Where is he? He said he was in, an, in the office. The world didn't end yet! Uh... Hi. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I think this guy's just... Well, I mean, I don't know. Everyone in the town is clearly Cthulhu-worshipping douchebag. That's, what, that's every single time. That's how it goes. So he's probably, you know... He's probably under the influence, but I don't know if, like, he's actually far enough along to be... He's probably... <sighs> yeah, I don't trust him. I'm sorry. I haven't heard anything I don't trust from her, him. But I'm sure she's fine. She must be in the hospital, or home. I already checked. She wasn't at home. And no one's seen her in Riverside since you set the cellars on fire. You know more than you're telling me. No. I'm certainly not as good a detective as the great Edward Pierce, but I still know when someone's lying to me. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. You can shoot him all you want. What do want. you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Yeah. Oh my god, why would I- why? <laughs> Uh, his grief, uh, the nature of the relationship. Marie would not have wanted that. Screw what Marie wants. He'll pay the full- Fuller will pay the fuller price. <laughs> fuller has committed too many atrocities. <gasps> he carried out his experiments on Sarah, on me, and now he has killed Dr. Colden. He must die. He will suffer the fate he deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. He's not alone. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end to their schemes. If you say so. But I'm only interested in Fuller. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Because I'm awesome. I'm an ultimate badass. Okay, so I just ended up back up here. Um, where is this office? Do I have a map? Oh. No maps. I'll just go this way. Ah. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Who knows? Oh. Maybe we can find out. What 
kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. It's true, she didn't. Why did she... Well, probably to summon the creature, but why? Maybe to fight against her husband? she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Well, she summoned it, right? How did she react? Was she afraid? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. No, no secrety secrets. Okay. already been in all these rooms. Is there anything different? Okay, before we talk to him, does it let me go back down here? Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave in. Eh. But at least I didn't dream it. I mean, yeah, that's good. Check it against your sanity. Reality check. All right, hello. Let's, let's have speaks. Also, you're very. Hail. He's very pale. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. Hi. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could. We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. He sold the dagger to Sanders, the dimensional shamblery. Must have a plan to get rid of it. He did. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's ask about Sanders. Dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. 
But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. Well, she already said she was going to try and kill it. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your balls. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Okay. Uh, sketch up a bust. All right, let's uh, let's do this the giveaway here quick again. Quick breaky poo here. All right, and then we have one more game to give away after this. Pontin, you still here, Pontin? Pontin plays. Yes, and drinking water, yes. Speak now or forever hold your cheese, Ponton plays. <laughs> uh I don't know, it's a it's a Dota water bottle. It's Tony's. Ponton is here! Okay, fabulous. Send me a message, okay, Ponton? Uh on Discord or, or on Twitch and all. Send you the key after the stream. Alrighty, one more. One more copy uh, of Dead Nautical. Let me actually let me make sure I have three keys. I'm pretty sure I do. Just got to check my email really quick. <clears throat> oh, wait, maybe I only have two. <laughs> I think I only have two to give away. Whoops. Good thing I checked. Do I have anything else I can give away? Uh, I know I have some other uh, keys, so let's go grab one more key if I can find my spreadsheet real quick. Okay, here we go. Sort, sort, sort. Okay, so I have some steam keys. Let's do... Hopefully. These are kind of old, though. I hope they work. <laughs> if you win this key and it doesn't work, let me know. I'll, I'll give you a different one. But I think that they don't expire, hopefully. Okay. Let's give away 
Uh, sticks, shard of darkness. No refunds. <laughs> yeah, no refunds. All right. Bye, Lurkalistos! Alright, if you want to win sticks, Shards of Darkness, Stealth Game, go ahead and join now, subscribers and moderators. And, uh, we'll just, we'll just end with that one, because I, I thought I had three, but I actually only have two, so that was my bad. Whoop! And for those of you that want Dreadnautical, I hope you enjoy that game. I've been enjoying it. Good times. If you want to just, it, you can, you can just buy it, too, if you want to buy it. There you go. There's the link for it. For those that didn't win. Sorry about that. But otherwise, maybe you can win Sticks. Also a good game. Which I've never finished. Played a little bit of it. <sighs> Alright. I am getting hungry. Anything else to say? Uh, it's you again. Uh, what is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University... Abdul! The work remains very powerful. <laughs> I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Yeah, okay. That's all I wanted to know. So every time you all ask, good time. every time you do the cthulhu -y language one, it, it probably moves you closer towards Cthulhu because you're inquiring, you're, you're delving into learning more about the occult and stuff. So that makes sense. Uh, I'm looking for this bust. A lot of busts in the house. It's probably not going to be right nearby where we are. Maybe she knows where it is. There is a bust upstairs. It's not this one. Creepy skirt. Okay. Uh, have you seen this bust? Do I have to actually compare it or? Cause yeah, I can, I can tell it's not that one. Oh, there's some up here. Uh, well, I can't click on those. What, raffle not working? Hold on. Uh, you're in there, PJS. Sometimes, sometimes it adds multiple people at once, so. Anything else to say to you? I prefer to be alone. Alrighty. Let me know if you see a bust. Ah, is it this? Aha! The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by... Concealed by, concealed by. Wow, that's a lot of concealment. <laughs> okay, there's a skull and a bust on some books. It's like a treasure hunt! It's so cute! I mean, there was a skull in that, uh, in that main area. 
don't know if it was on books, though. Not in here. That wouldn't make very much sense. thinking of but that's oh wait is it this yeah it is okay that's what I thought I kind of would have just guessed it was here in the first place because this was such an iconic area this is Whoa. the amulet that Drake was looking for yeah firmly believes it's the area Ugh! Interesting. Oops, wrong way. Seal to the city of Cthulhu. Yep. Looks like that's the direction we're going. Ah, uh, it's you again. Yeah. Uh. I think I've found what go. we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I mean, we're not saved yet. That's a little optimistic, considering what we're dealing with. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yeah, it always does. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. cops we base our investigation on facts and testimonies you might want to try that next time you bet I will <laughs> yeah you tell him Pierce You spent your cheese points on evoking the power of cheese to everyone. Base, it's just a buff. It's a chat buff. It uh, it gives chat extra cheese power. Definitely a real thing. <laughs> Legit Rob, thank you for the 500 bits. Congrats on the new badge. All right. Woohoo! Thank you so much! Appreciate the support. 
for spreading the cheese. Queer poo everywhere! <laughs> Is there a Cthulhu call? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. There's this one. Smell Cthulhu. <laughs> Look at all the chat buffs. Woohoo! The powers of cheese! It's getting so cheesy in here! Rebecca! Thank you, Legit Rob! Thank you so much! You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All oh, good, yeah? I hope. Good things. It appears you. that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Who did I insult? He's in no position. Truth comes at a cost. Yes, it does. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You are being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. Oh, yeah. Don't waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Actually, probably nothing. You probably know. You probably know, because you're part of it. Cult, stupid Cthulhu cult worshiper. Legit Rob, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Holler. Glad you like it. Not as bad as the Innsmouth cops. Yeah, not quite as bad as Innsmouth. Pretty sure you're pissed off quite a few people on the island. Yeah, but you know, all in a day's work. I think he's part of the cult. I don't trust. The police are definitely. Yeah. And I on you, gifting five subs. Woohoo! Thank you so much, I on you. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. That's right. All right, thank you guys for spreading the cheese around. Greatly appreciated. Cheese hype. Thank you so much. Cheese hype, cheese hype. Um. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. Yeah. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. So? Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. Uh -huh. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Nighty night. Mr. Pierce. Yes, Cthulhu? Hello? Who's there? Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, uh. I'm the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. <laughs> Struggle. You will not be able to speak or as 
escape my influence. Oh, not a good idea. Uh, struggle. I told you to behave. No. You are here to access the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, <laughs> Cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? No, no, I wouldn't. Your mind must open itself willingly. I don't think so. Or the truth will immediately shatter it. That's fine. I'm good. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use oh your boy, powers here we again, go. you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your source is reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! Oh, he's so gonna <gasps> die. Not again! Uh-oh! Oh, now I'm her? Oh, God. Algernon, come back! What a weird name, Algernon. Uh. E bleh, bleh. Okay. Go in here. Is Algernon. This looks familiar. And the Shambler. Oh, that cat lady! Get back. Yeah, it's fine. Is this a stealth se segment again? Who's. How many are there? Who are you? Isn't this the same cave that I fell into before with the ooh, cultists? Looks kind of like it. Oh, oh dear. What's he doing? Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, old friend, but it's either you or me. No! Game? Are you okay, game? Game? Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! about all this
I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Banish him. What are we How doing? Do we kill it. The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. We need that dagger, right? He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Oh, then no. I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay. Uh. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Okay. Uh. So I can I can put my light away. Somewhere on the floor. Like how far away are we talking about it? Find that symbol, Sarah. I'm it trying! Back to the light if you use your lamp. I'm working on it, alright? I will work. Give me a sec. Oh, I can do the make your lantern brighter thing. God damn it. Can I find it without doing that though? Because it's a little annoying. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'm looking on the floor, dude. Sarah, I'm trying to react to the light if you use your lamp. Uh, how much of my lamp do I need to use to find it? I'm, I hate, I can't see shit. Game, the first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Maybe it's like right around us or something. I don't know. How bright do I need this to be? I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should How react to the there? light if you use your lamp. Maybe I go down? Ba 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 I don't see no symbols on the floor. Okay, seriously? How have I not found it yet? First glyph must have appeared oh! The floor. Found it! The glyph! I can't move it! Is it acting against me? The ritual is working! Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off! Oh, oh no! Am I good? The wanderer is back! Uh oh. Is well. This is as fast as I can run, so... symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Yeah, I guess. Run around randomly until I find it. The second thing must have appeared. Let's press on. I'm for I'm looking! Look, dude, unless you want to tell me whereabouts it is, then just give me a sec. Is that cheese? No. Oh. Damn it. We almost had hope, but now, alas, there is no cheese. Okay, um. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. I am. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, stop backseating, you douche. I get in there. I mean, is that not the right one? Oh! Okay. I know! I know! I know! You startled me, my friend. I have the impression. 
impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. You think? Man, Mr. Smart guy over here. here. Let's press on. I found it. I just need to go over and get it now. If I can, if I can actually find out where it was. Maybe it wasn't actually. I don't think it was up that high. It was behind a thingy. Here. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Did it work? Third glyph. Okay. All right. Why? I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it and trap me, sir. Do you understand? Uh I mean I've been doing that every other time, so it seems like an easy feat. But I still need to find the third glyph. That's the first one, right? Times, great oldies. Hello, this is Glyph. And is near. I'm sure of it. Okay, well, if you could give me a hint, that'd be super swell. I need more oil. Not very many places to get oil. Oh! Found it! Release me now! Algernon! Quickly! Bring it towards me! Okay! Ah! Want me to do anything or uh oh use the painting okay all right oh no Whew. save drake's life i do you hear something i turned my light on and saved his life i guess Apparently you can send him in the painting. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. I will never hold him. Uh Don't do it, Sarah. We've we've come this far, Sarah. Don't do it. Fatah! No! Don't do it! No! Sarah! Cthulhu! See? Cthulhu always wins, no matter what. No matter what you do. Frickin' Cthulhu always wins. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed to permanently drive the Dimensional Shambler back to the end of the fierce battle. However, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness, and she has succumbed to the call of the myth. I wonder if that would still happen if you sacrificed Algernon or not. (sighs) 
and your madness. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. Because she's crazy. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. Yep. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Yeah, they are. They're very stupid. Yeah, they are. Those goddamn idiots. Time to go to sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a lovely dream. Hello? Oh. Hi. I find you again. Sup, dude? As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. No! As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perception is changing. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it, Cthulhu! I don't know that one. Follow the path of the ultimate. You can't win. The sad truth, you can never win. I seem to be drowning again. It's probably bad. Really? There are no buddies. The villagers. Me. You're all in danger as long as you're alive. Oh, really? Well, that's not good. Probably don't want that to happen. For the hundred bits. Pierce, private detective. Game done. Save it. What happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. Egypts. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse, they killed Chief West. Huh. And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. 
I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Go. Look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Don. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. Hmm. Pick a runes. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. That's a bunch of hooey. Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Interesting. Here we are. Uh huh. Where is the dead guy then? It's interesting, I can use all my same skills that I got from Edward on her. Oh, there he is. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? I don't know. We came from here. Mm -hmm. Down the stairs. Seems pretty obvious. So this is where West was killed. What's that? Ooh. What the fuck is that? Why would where that come from? Why would that be there in our vision if she's if that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Ooh. Tentacle man. He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Fitzroy. Fitzroy? Oh, oh. Well, I mean, yeah. Not surprised. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Oh, really? Oh! Outside? God. Okay. Wait, but I'm not truth seeker. I'm... Whoa! Pardon the- pardon- Excuse me? What's going on outside? Uh... This is my last can I... Oh. Oh, it does work. Uh, I don't know why I didn't work the first time. Whatever. I'll just shoot some dudes. What's going on? Get out of here! I'll cover you! Die! You filthy rat! Damn it! Okay. Uh, Pierce saw cats wearing discoveries through her eyes while she was searching for the murderer. She was attacked by some island inhabitants. Pierce had to find out if she would make it. Okay, so I was Pierce seeing through cats' eyes. That makes more sense, I guess. Killed over monster energy. It's a bit of an addiction. <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe Monster Energy is the real life connection to Cthulhu. Oh no, I've drank Monster Energy in the past. Pierce, wake up. Am I what am happened? I a Cthulhu -y? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Okay, Bradley, but I Yeah, I was about what? to say. Tell me. My head. Oh, my he's head. screwed. Bradley, damn it, pull yourself together. You got me. I can't resist any longer. Uh uh, e, ooh, uh, uh, yeah. You remember the cultists we saw at the Hawkins house? I saw them on the docks. Yes, you've been in this cell for days. Listen, I think they are responsible for your affliction. I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, honey? She left with the bookseller. He came back alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it. I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No, keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. Enough killing. Idiot! Yeah! Now go, you imbecile. Okay. I mean, he's probably gonna die, but not by Edward's hand. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. What am I doing? Uh, you're shooting crazy people. Enough. Oh, I wanted to use the strength. Fine. I wonder if you Sarah can Hawkins do this without killing anyone. Okay, let's try let's try doing this sneaky Stop. Nope. Oh, okay. God. The strength is. What am I doing? The strength tech is literally just to shoot them, so never mind. Alright. Uh, well. What the? Was he like the others? Boom, boom. Murder everyone. Get an achievement for it, too. Good for me. Is she? Hello? Reach the whaling station. You won't have my skin. Oh god. Where's the whaling station? You're not the chosen one. Sorry to break it to you. It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the. Hey. Is that you, Detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? Uh huh. I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. Um. Okay. I. The first aid kit. Oh, Am I? Quick. Okay, I'm I mean... Uh, 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 uh... Where do I get a first aid kit? Hello? Oh, I do have my light. Oh. Wait, this is the whaling station. I couldn't go up here before. Sorry. That's locketed. Hmm. 
I mean, I want to heal the guy. Maybe the inn? Or... Oh. Actually, yeah. What happened here? Stuff. Stuff and things. I want to go see if this... Uh, whatever his name is is in here. Hello? It looks like an old seaway map. Okay. Yep. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. The miraculous catch. You are or whatever. getting closer, truth seeker. I mean, I already put two and two together with that one. The truth. The ultimate truth. that it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. Oh! Hello! There's a secret, everybody! There's a secret! Secrety, secrety, secret. Okay, it's not over here. Is it in the bathroom? No. It's up here. It's somewhere in here. Maybe it's upstairs. Nope. It's here! Somewhere here! I will find it. I found it. <laughs> Fitzroy has destroyed all the ways off the island. Attention everyone, I want all the boats removed from the bay. I know that font. No one escapes, not now. Their fates are sealed as the great lord will rise from the depths. No one can escape his grasp. Soon my brothers will rejoice because the long-awaited moment is now upon us. Hey, cat. What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Uh... Oh, so do I have to choose? You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. 
I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. Where the hell am I gonna get a first aid kit? Into the inn. Oh. How many died because of this madness? A lot. Most of them you've shot yourself, too. Okay. I could go into the warehouse. we go. It's nice that I have limited, unlimited ammo when I don't have hey to you. reload. They got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse. Mm. But there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. loud oh, god damn it I press shoot I mean it's not an FPS game. Enough. so you know whatever <laughs> So, I mean, if I have a choice between healing those two people, I probably could have picked Cat. I don't even remember who Mitchell is. Hey, you! They got the boss. I want it, but there's one. Oh, super. There we go. Accident emergency case. Perfect. One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Uh, who deserves it? I don't know. Who is Mitchell? I don't freaking even remember him. Does anybody else remember who, who he is? Oh no. Hope his boss will have more luck. Yeah. I a cat is a more interesting character, so I'll probably save her. The bar owner? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I don't have any. Shit. They're going to the whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. Okay. Squeeze me. Oh. How many died because of this madness? I'm coming, cat. You luckily you're a more interesting character than the innkeeper, so I'm gonna save you. Seems like an easy choice, honestly. Go get me a first aid kit. I did! I might have something for you. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Behind the Hawkins warehouse. Okay. Use the bootlegger's passage. Um. Okay, 
Okay, that's boarded up. And we can't get through this way. Okay, so we gotta go through the warehouse. At this point, whatever. <laughs> I've already shot so many people, it doesn't even matter. Alright, I did it! I'm here! Hello? Damn it. Oh, am I out of bullets now? So I did have a limit. Is that just the last guy that I need to worry about? Oh. Oh, Rishi Healy. Whoa, what do you mean, game? I don't know where I'm going. Hello? It's happening. It's happening. way I have no idea where I'm going let's go up uh, well these, these uh, suspicious candles look pretty promising pretty culty you know enter okay Pierce crossed the docks where an old acquaintance and new faces met their ends all over the place Leviathan slaves are wandering in search of the victim after fighting his way through and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders Pierce finally reached the whaling section he hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. You mean, like, she hasn't already done something bad? I'm pretty sure she's done pretty bad stuff. I'm gonna save everyone by murdering them all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if everyone knows a crime was committed, is killed, then no crime was committed. Yes, no witnesses! Rule number one, <laughs> no witnesses. Jiggly eyebrows. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. <laughs> no, this is the Detective 1824 Fedora. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Looks strong enough to take weight of a tank. Okay, but I haven't even like seen that, so Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. Point and click logic. Office key. Okie dokie 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 smokey. Secrets. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. 
Yeah, 1847. Uh, the morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the crew was talking. The creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger, and I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with its tentacles. I don't know how my harpoon finally pierced the skull of the monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. <laughs> so they totally spinned that story then. I mean, obviously, it didn't even resemble a whale. Giant tentacle monster. Creature of darkness. Cthulhu minion. Cthulhu Kraken, I guess. There's another secret. Hello, secrety secreties. Hello. Oh. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of the Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. Hmm. I don't know if we found her body or not. I don't think so. Hello? Secrets? Are you there? Maybe in the other room? Nope, I found the one in here. I hear someone singing. Okay, it's definitely in this room then. Is that it? Ah! Looks like a page from a log from 1847. We are starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in the tales of the miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. We sighted an enormous whale further to the north. The biggest we've ever seen, Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is a miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it back home to feed our families. Yes, we will catch it. Yes. So, if it's 1924 now, and 1847 is when that happened, that means that Fuller and everybody else, you know, everyone else that was a sailor, they're really old. I mean, they're not, like, you know, uh, unrealistically old, but... Probably older than they seem. Eye on you! Thank you for the hundred bits. Whale, not whale. Squid one, squid two, squid four, or narwhale. <laughs> oh, that was emotes. Uh, whale, not whale, or nar narwhal. I think it's probably um, more resembling a kraken or a Cthulhu -y squid. It's interesting that like all of the all of the things that are on the plates that you see people eating, it looks like the head of a squid. But like how does it have so many heads if it was one big thing, you know? That's what I'm that's what I'm curious about. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. A knife and a secret. It mentions the Leviathan, how it drove the sailors mad. Yeah. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of Nightmare City, and a sleeping god. Madness! I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold off for long. Fitzroy has twelve men at his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them and their new god. I beseech you, almighty gods, you have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Oh, dear. doesn't work. That's not gonna work. Um, 
So I need to attach... Do I need to attach it first? Because hmm. it looks like I could attach it there, but... Oh! There we go, it's up above me. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. Cool beans. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. I got that already. I got a knife. Boom, shakalaka. Enter the beast's den. Getting into it now, friends. Uh, can I not ladder down any further? Oh. Uh. Okay, guess I can't go down there. Here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, how many heads do you have, Yogzo? Eh? Suspicious. Oh, God. Well, there seems to be some uh, going zones in here. Very uncomfortable as well. Going on. Don't look at it. Anything over here? Okay. I guess just look at the floor or something. Oh, hey! What is that thing? What is that thing? That's Sarah? It's him. Ow! Oh, Sarah? Hello, this is Brad. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness at wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! This is where the oh god gross. This is all the heads. That's what they're serving everyone. What am I doing? Hello? Is there something back here? What's the point of being here? I don't know. He really, he just really does not like to look at uh, that thing. Don't blame him. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, it probably smells pretty <laughs> awful. I would have to agree. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, fuller! 
Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Yeah. Uh, Leviathan. Did. Well, shall we begin? I guess. No. No treatment. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Cthulhu! Ah, yes. Looks delicious. Don't eat it! Don't do it! You gross! Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I, I killed him. Unnecessary sacrifice. Shit! <laughs> God damn it! Ah, God damn it, Cthulhu, you son of a bitch. Find the truth and be free. Did you just tell me the truth? Because that would be easier. Nothing's happening. Uh huh. This looks good. Okay. Cool. Trial and error. Wooden board walkways. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about this way? Damn it! First try. Really? And then I have to trial and error that too? Can I... Okay, how about the opposite one? No. Okay. Well, isn't this fun? Oops. Best puzzle. Best puzzle ever. Uh, how about this one? saved. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Now I leave. Okay, now I'm back here. Nothing's happening. Do I have to do all of them? It... 
Okay. I choose you, Pikachu. Oh, first try. Cool. Okay. things okay oh was it too slow yeah okay i thought i could go under things but no more crouching no crouching allowed in this segment about now. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna let you. <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> I won't go without a fight. Uh-huh. I don't know about that, Pierce. Pick your heel of your own accord. Ah! Stay back or I'll put a bullet in your head. Oh shit. Oh. Water's probably not a good place to be right now. I see. You cannot escape my awareness. I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to free yourself from destiny. But it is unavoidable. And as I predicted, you have come to free me. Awaken. Whoa. And call him. Don't do it! Don't do it, Pierce! Uh, finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, in the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station, and after a final confrontation with Leviathan, he passed out. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Not looking good. Um, one thing we could do is kill ourselves. That might work, maybe. Otherwise, I think it's kind of a hopeless cause. But then, you know, 
He'll just find somebody else. So, it's just how things go. Game <coughs> save. Ah. The voice. Lovely day. I can't hear the voice anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello? That's what happened to Sarah. She said she woke up clear-minded. Pierce doesn't seem very clear-minded, though. Seems a little bit bonkers. You are trapped. Yep. Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Is it Sarah? Looks like a girl. Maybe it's Marie. Wouldn't be surprised. Where am I? Edward Bonkers PI. <laughs> Isn't this lovely? The miraculous catch was a trap. Yep. Leviathan wanted to be found. Duh. Took you forever to figure that out. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch. Yeah. Back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. Oh dear. Hmm. This is real. I saw you dead. As I see you now. It is Marie. You're crazy too. You survived. Yeah, you're crazy. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what we will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Mm hmm. You're mistaken. 
mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well done. To Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Cole? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. That's what Shut she up. wants you to do. Get out of my way. Pierce. Hiding the dead. No one can fight their fate. Neither them nor you. Oh, he's starting to look like Sinking City guy. <laughs> Nothing you can do, just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. That's exactly what Cthulhu wants you to do, Edward! You dumb, dumb, dingle dumb. Ooh. Nothing over here, okie dokie. Oh boy. Pierce must go to Alabaster Point where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him there. He must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Good times. Ninja Madness. More true now than ever before. It's very green now. This is the greenest green has ever been. She painted that Go. too. She is waiting. <sighs> what have they done to me? Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. 
Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. Ah, to me, squid my juice. body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. <laughs> You're fuller of it. <laughs> nice. He is fuller of it. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Well, I have a feeling it's not going to matter what I choose. Yeah, sorry about Destiny. that. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. No, he was actually right though. Oh gosh. You don't have the slightest idea of what you I mean, speak. He was an asshole. What but... I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage. My family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? I don't know. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So, you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? You rejected her half-truths. I did? Ew. Okay, my mind is a little clearer now. That's good. Almost there. I don't think this is a good idea. Hey guys. 
Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth. Thank you, Anonymous. I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting Level it. Level up. Afraid of what I might discover. Mm -hmm. But I was afraid of myself. You should have been. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce. As I will deliver the truth. Ah, uh, you are lost. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Counter ritual, perform the ritual, it's over. What does it's over mean? I mean, I think it. Oh god, I don't know what it's over means. I want to shoot myself. <laughs> What's happening? Wait, what? That's it? Did I do it? Founder, okay. Yeah, alright. So, like, did I 
actually do it? I mean, yeah, it seemed like the good ending, but it, but, but why though? That doesn't make much sense, does it? That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like Cthulhu style. <laughs> Can I load and try another one? I'm just curious. Okay, we get more. does he have that? Is he still tormented? Does that mean that he's still haunted by Cthulhu? I mean, I just... Can I load? Maybe it'll make more sense. Maybe it'll make more sense if we see the other endings. I just, like, that's just weird. I don't, like... I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I guess it just makes it just makes it feel like because you can choose any option right at the end, it kind of makes all the other options that you picked throughout the game seem kind of pointless. But I don't know. Also, If that, if that one was just, like, a kind of don't do it now, but, like, you know, do it later and he's still going to be plagued by dreams and then Cthulhu's going to find another oracle and then they're going to go through the process over again, fine. Sure. But. I don't know. Let's see. I want to see what the counter ritual does. We'll, we'll do them all just to see, but... Okay, come on. Speed it up, game. Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting? Yes, all this, but I was a... What did you... <laughs> Listen. Look around. Everything must. I can't one man because I truth. Yeah. I fear. Because. Pierce, help me! Okay, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the give in one last, because I have a feeling that one's gonna be the coolest. Your spells 
Okay. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, that one is a little worse. Successfully carry out the counter ritual, fight destiny. Okay. But then he still gets screwed. He's still boned. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder what happens to the other guy. Trapped Cthulhu. Yeah, kind of kind of seems like he was just, you know, more more nuts. Maybe stopping Cthulhu from entering the world, but also dooming himself. There's no good ending, obviously. But this one's going to be the the worst for everyone. I really want to see Cthulhu like come from that mist in the background. That'd be so awesome. see some tentacle things happening back there waving around here you are at last truth see you were yeah I'll, but i what <laughs> listen are you crazy Welcome, huh? Every... i can one because i tr i feel because... Pierce, help me. i will do it give in Here we go.
Whoa! Ah, oh, that's it! That's it! Just a little tiny glimpse! Oh, come on! That was still pretty cool, though. Okay. I'm satisfied in all the endings. Just, uh, it, it is kind of a shame, though, like, when games, they make you... They have you make all these choices throughout the game, like you're shaping your character, but then at the end you can choose anyone anyway. I don't know. I, I, I don't... It's just kind of a bummer. The same kind of thing happened with Thinking City, right? It's kind of a... Meh. But nonetheless... Nonetheless, it was pretty good. That was a pretty darn good Cthulhu story. Half a second of visual. Yeah. Yeah, the Cthulhu thing, the, the reveal of Cthulhu wasn't exactly what I wanted, but... It was, it was better than nothing. Could have been worse. I chose Cat instead of that dude? I'm not sure how much that would have changed. It would have just gave me another way into the, uh... To the to the, the boathouse. I think that's what that was. Just because all she did was give me a key to get in the boathouse. So I think if I would have picked him, he would have gave me a different entryway. Just like a little bit of varied gameplay. <laughs> this game is also in uh, Dark Corners of the Earth. <laughs> just because I got drunk and all the Cthulhu business would have just blown over. It's like the secret, actual good ending. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. I liked it. What did you guys think? It was it was actually a little bit more interesting than I thought it was going to be, gameplay-wise. I was expecting it to be... Uh, you know, lots more linear, and I wasn't expecting the RPG RPG elements and stuff, which was was kind of cool. So I thought it was enjoyable. Obviously, there was a, little, a few gameplay segments that were kind of pointless and annoying, which I and I get why people said it could be tedious at times. Um, so it, yeah, but um, at the same time, it had a lot of high points. I think more high points than low points, in my opinion. And it was a good story. It was a good classic Cthulhu story. Oh, oh boy. More Cthulhu? So they're just all crazy now? I mean, like they weren't before. wasn't a pun. <laughs> Ew! It's not nice to eat people's eyeballs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Edward?
Yeah, that was definitely the longest ending. Yep. Walk up the road. Definitely the coolest one. Definitely the coolest ending. Absolutely. Jeez. That was crazy. <laughs> so Cthulhu, Cthulhu is here. He has no more use for pathetic mortals, so he just has them kill each other. The third one is the best ending. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like all the endings. I think it's cool that there's multiple endings. And... It's really, it's good. At first, when I got the first ending, I was worried for a second that they would have made a good end, like an actual good ending, but no. Good. If I ever play a Cthulhu game, and for some reason they make an actual good ending, it will be disappointing. Because part of this whole thing is that you can't win. Cthulhu always wins. You can delay the inevitable for as long as you can, can resist. But in the end... There's only one eventual outcome. And, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> Dark Corners of the Earth. Yeah, that game is awesome. Really, really good. Sinking City is also super, super good, too. I think that one's pretty underrated. There's another ending? How do you get it? Oh, I could respond to the I could respond with the Cthulhu -y response at the end there. I don't know how much that would change. But if it happens before, then I can't do anything. <sighs> Singing City's atmosphere was delicious and cozy. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah, Frogwares did a really good job on Sinking City. Oh, no, never mind, PJS. That's okay. If, if it, it was a series of events, then I won't be able to do it. So it's fine. <laughs> 